Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to solve first PUC Computer Science MCQ questions on Chapter 3 Data Representation. Let us begin with question number 1. The total number of digits present in any number system. Option Value B Length C Base or Radix D Numeric. Here, option C base or radix that represent any number system hence option c is the right answer question number two following is not a positional number system there are two types of number system one is positional number system and one more is non-positional number system here positional system consisting of their positional values and non-positional number system do not have any positional values so let us begin with options binary number system octal number system decimal number system roman number system here roman number system is the right answer because roman number system do not have any positional values for the digits so hence roman number is a non positional number system question number 3 following is a non positional number system Option A binary number system, B octal number system, C decimal number system, D Roman number system. So, this is also option D Roman number system only. Now, question number four the leftmost bit in number system is that is the high, uh, high, highest uh, bit order that is option C is the right answer that is most significant bit is the right answer that is option c now let us move on to question number five the rightmost bit in the number system is that is least significant bit so here option a is the right answer question number six the highest order bit in number system is so here most significant bit that is option c is the right answer question number seven here the lower order bit in number system is least significant bit so that is option a is the right answer so what is the weight of the lsb of an 8 bit number so here least significant bit whose weight is 1 hence option number a is the right answer question number 9 what is the weight of msb that is most significant bit of a 16 bit number option a 32768 option b 1024 option c 16 option d 8 here option a 32768 is the right answer why because in a 16 bit number we can represent this one as 2 to the power 15 is equal to 32768 so hence option a is the right answer now let us move on to the next question question number 10 which of the following is not change the value of binary number after adding option a 0 b 1 c 2 d 3 so after adding 0 it is not going to change the binary value of a binary number so question number 11 which of the following is not a binary number so option a 4 times 1 b f a c e c 1010 d 4 times 0. So here F A C E option B is the right answer because it is not a binary number. This one is a hexadecimal number and remaining three options consisting of only the bits either 0 or 1. Hence they are binary number and B is not a binary number. Question number 12. The base of a binary number is option A 2 B 8 C 10 D 16. Here base of a binary number is always 2 because you are going to represent bit either 0 or 1. Hence option A 2 is the right answer. Now let us continue with next question. Question number 13. Which of the following is not an octal number? Option A 111. Option B 123. C 000. Option D 888. So in octal number system we have a range of numbers from 0 to 7 here option d consisting of 888 hence 888 do not lies in between 0 to 7 
hence option d is not a octal number question number 14 the base of an octal number is option a 2 b 8 c 10 d 16 here option number b octal represent 8 hence option b is the right answer question number 15 which of the following is not a decimal number here a 111 b 42. a c 999 d 888 so here you can see after the decimal point we have got a hence it is not a decimal number option b is hexadecimal number hence it is not a decimal number b is the right answer next question number 16 the base of a decimal number is options are a 2 b 8 c 10 d 16 so decimal represent 10 so here option c is the right answer which of the following is not a hexadecimal number options are 111 b 42.a c fade d fse so here option a 111 represent it is a binary number hence it is not a hexadecimal number and the rest of the three uh, options represent hexadecimal number hence option a is the right answer next question number 18 which of the following is equal to d in hexadecimal number system so here a represent value 10 b represent value 11 c represent value 12 and d represent value 13 so now you can identify that option c 13 is the right answer question number 19 which of the following is equal to 1100 in decimal number system so we will convert this given binary number 1100 into its decimal equivalent by counting its positional weights from 0 so let us count the positional weight of each bit from the right hand side so here this bit positional weight is 0 And the next bit positional weight is one. And the next bit positional weight is two. And the next bit positional weight is three. Now let us write one into base or radix of number. Binary number is two, and we are going to write to the power three plus this bit number one in its position two. So we'll write bit number one into two to the power two plus. This bit number zero, whose positional weight is one. So I'm going to write here two to the power one. Next plus this bit number zero, whose positional weight is zero. That is two to the power zero. So let us further simplify this. Two to the power three is two is to be multiplied thrice. Two to the four, four to the eight, eight one the eight. So hence I'm going to write here eight plus two to the power two is four. Four plus four into one is One sorry four zero into anything will become zero plus zero plus zero you can write is equal to eight plus four that gives me twelve so here option D is the right answer question number twenty one's complement of one one zero one zero one 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 to the base two is so always one's complement can be converting bit number 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 here you can see bit number 0 is there you can convert this one into sorry 1 is there you can convert this one into 0 this bit number 1 can be converted to 0 this bit number 0 can be converted into 1 this 1 can be converted to 0 and this bit 1 can be 0 can be converted to 1 these three bits 1 can be converted to triple 0 so you can now identify Which one is the right answer? Here you can see option A is the right answer. Question number twenty-one. Two's complement of one one zero one one zero one zero. So two's complement of the given binary number can be determined by finding out one's complement as that of the previous question plus one. That gives us two complement. Two's complement, right? So I'm going to write here one one. Zero one one zero one one. So I'm going to convert this one into ones complement. I'll write here ones complement plus one. 
so here one's complement can be converting 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 so here 1 1 are there you can write 0 0 so 1 is 0 is there you can write 1 1 1 can be converted to 0 0 this 0 can be converted to 1 and these 1 1 can be converted to 0 zeros plus 1 so after adding i'm going to get 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 plus 1 gives me 1 so this will be the answer you just need to check out which one is the suitable answer so here option a is the right answer now let us move on to next question question number 22 whose complement of a binary number is so just now we have seen here whose complement of the binary number can be determined by one's complement plus one so here option b is the right answer that is one's complement plus one gives me two's complement of a binary number now let us move on to the next question question number 23 all modern computer is based on option a one's complement representation option b two's complement representation option c binary addition option d binary subtraction so all modern computers are based on two's complement representation because in order to reduce the hardware complexity the all modern computer system uses two's complement representation next question number 24 addition of 1 Double zero one zero one one and one double zero one zero. So let us add both of these two binary numbers. So let me write the first number one zero zero one zero one one, and then you have to count the number of digits one two three four five. So here how many digits we have two four six seven. So after leaving two bits from the left hand side, we'll start writing the next binary number. So that is one zero. 0 1 0 and leading zeros two zeros you can add to match up with the number of columns on the left hand side now let us go for addition binary addition 1 plus 0 gives me 1 1 plus 1 2 2 can be written as 1 0 so 1 will become the carry 0 will become the sum so 1 0 you can convert you will get 2 only so 1 plus 0 plus 0 that gives me 1 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is again 1. Now you check out in the given option which one is the right answer. I think this, okay, option B is the right answer. Now let us go for next question, question number 25 subtraction of 1 double 0 1 0 1 1 and double 1 double 0 1. So here we need to subtract this second number from the first number. So let me write the first number as 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 next number you can count 2 4 5 2 4 6 7 digits after leaving two digits from the left hand side you can start writing the second number that is 1 1 0 0 1 and you can add two leading zeros and now you write minus sign to subtract so 1 minus 1 gives me 0 1 minus 0 gives me 1, 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. Here I cannot subtract 1 from 0. So I will have to take a borrow from the left hand side column. So here left hand side column also consisting of 0. Again we have to check for bit number 1 on the left most column. Here we found bit number 1. So take this bit number 1 here. So this bit number will be set to 0. So it has 1, 0. If you want this bit number 1 over here so you just bring this bit number 1 over here so it will become 1 0 1 0 is 2 2 minus 1 gives me 1 here we have got bit number 1 1 minus 0 that gives me 1 0 minus 0 is 0 and you just need to check out which one is the right option here so you can see 1 1 0 0 1 0 so option a is the right answer let us move on to the next question question number 26 one way of encoding decimal numbers digit by digit using groups of four bits is option a bcd code option b ebcd ic code option c ascii code option d ansi code here bcd that is binary coded decimal code is the right answer question number 27 
how many bits can be represented by bcd code option a 1 b 2 c 4 d 8 here option c bit 4 is the right answer question number 28 how many bits can be represented by ebcd ic code option a 1 option b 2 option c 4 option d 8 here option d 8 is the right answer now question number 29 which of the following is a non weighted code here options are a bcd code option b ebcd ic code and option c ascii code and option d access 3 bcd code so here option d access 3 bcd code is a non weighted code question number 30 ebcd ic code is developed by option a intel option b ibm option c microsoft d hp here option b ibm is the right answer now let us move on to the next question so that is question number 31 bits stand for option a binary digits b binary internal digits c binary bits d binary internal bits so here option a binary digits is the right answer question number 32 lsb stands for option a least significant bit b less significant bit c low significant bit d least significant byte here option a least significant bit is the right answer question number 33 msb stands for option a most significant bit option b more significant bit option c mass significant bit option d mostly significant bit here option a most significant bit is the right answer question number 34 bcd stands for option a binary coded decimal option b binary coded digit option c binary computer decimal option d binary computer digit so here option a binary coded decimal is the right answer now let us move on to the next question question number 35 ebcdic stands for option a extended binary coded decimal interchange code option b external binary coded decimal interchange code option c extended binary coded digit interchange code option d external binary coded digit interchange code here option a exter uh, extended binary coded decimal interchange code is the right answer question number 36 ascii stands for option a American Standard Code for Information Interchange, Option B, American Standard Code for uh, Information Interchange, C, American State Code for Information Interchange, Option D, American State Code for Interchange Information. So here, Option A, American Standard Code for Information Interchange is the right answer. That's all in this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will see you in the next video.